we're Stewart Farm. We have grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Uh, we have pasture-raised chicken and pasture-raised pork. Basically free-range eggs as well. Mm -hmm. All of our animals stay on pasture year-round. We rotate them through our pasture here, our seven acres, and then next door we use about 50 acres. So we rotate our cows and chickens and the pigs through. Oh, I never thought I would come back and farm. I left. I went to Mizzou uh, for engineering. Uh, came back and just slowly start getting more animals and everything we produce we eat kind of thing like we don't buy a lot from the, the stores or whatever so I like, like that a lot. So when we first moved onto this farm um, I remember standing up at the very top where the cows are and thinking how am I going to get a control of the weeds because we've had problems with weeds next door and it was all hand pulling. And so looking at this is like four acres, thinking how am I going to hand pull four acres with all of this stuff in here was a little overwhelming. We ran 300 chickens through it the first year. And the next year we started seeing small patches of clover popping up. We started seeing small patches of Timothy popping up. And so it's gone from, oh my God, how am I going to manage all these weeds to it's not that big of a deal anymore. And so if we had started spraying, We'd always be fighting that, you know, spraying the weeds and trying to get the grass to grow. So we'd be spraying and fertilizing, spraying and fertilizing, when all it took was a few years of running chickens through, and it all just took care of itself. So American Milking Devons are the one of the smartest breeds you can have as an oxen, and they're one of the fastest and most sure-footest oxen that you can have. Triple purpose is milk, beef, and oxen. And so some breeds are better for one or two things, and then there's a handful of breeds that are good for all three. You wouldn't want to try to train an Angus as an oxen. So when, when we first heard about Known and Grown, my initial reaction was, great, another organization that thinks they're gonna do something for us. So I kind of was like stalking you guys on, on <laughs> online a little bit, seeing what was going on. And I kind of thought, well, I think these guys are, I think they're legit. I think they, I think they really get it. I think they understand the work that goes into this and what we're really trying to do um, for our customers and for our community. I was like, wow, okay, I think this is really going to, to be something that we can get behind um, and that we're gonna feel like we have support from a whole community, not just the people that are running Known and Grown, but the other farmers. And a lot of the other farmers there are friends of ours, and so it's nice to be able to, to kind of share that back and forth and know that we're all working together. And so, yeah, once I kind of saw that you guys were really committed to helping us succeed and making sure that customers were getting our products, I was like, we're on board.